Hi and welcome back to Film Pickle. This is Pushkaraja Shirke and today we are discussing who could be the next Bond. All right. Uh, a lot of comments are out there. A lot of people are saying that Idris Elba would be the next Bond. Yes. A uh, African American as is compulsory to say that would be the next Bond is what they are saying. But I recently saw the trailer of the man from UNCLE. Yes, the man from Uncle starring Henry Cavill. And Henry Cavill looks spectacular in the movie. All right. One thing, I love Guy Ritchie. I love his work. I love his love for old school spy movies. All right. And the guy has a penchant for bringing out the entire spy genre very well. I don't know if it's to the credit of Guy Ritchie or to Henry Cavill that the man from Uncle looks so spectacularly Bondesque. All right. So why do I think that Henry Cavill would actually make the next Bond? One thing, all right, once you had a bond like Sean Connery and Pierce Brosnan, you're talking about people who are classy, who look like cold-blooded murderers, who blow things up at the touch of a button without getting all brutal about it, all right? Then you have Daniel Craig, who portrays the earlier years of Bond where he was not that well trained, he was still giving in to his emotions, was a little more brutal, a little more loud, liked to get his hands dirty on stuff. So the next Bond we are looking at would be a progression from Craig and a step below Sean Connery. All right? You're looking at someone who is yet on an evolving stage. All right? And for that zone, he has to be well built. He has to still carry the persona and elan that Sean Connery and Pierce Brosnan once carried. All right? And yet be a little on the side of hardcore or a little on the side of being able to be physically violent like Craig is. So that is what he puts Henry Cavill in my list of favorites for the next Bond. About casting Idris Elba as the next Bond, I really have my doubts about it because yes, I know there's this huge debate about all these classics were not written when black people had equal status and everything, right? So you should start putting black people into these things. But I really have my reservations against this debate because the whole point is, yes, if you're proud about your race and absolutely you should be, what you should be doing is not prying on other classics, but build your own classics, create your own superheroes, create your own lineages, create your own characters that people would want to follow. You have Black Panther, you have Mr. T, you have great characters to be made, create them. Don't unnecessarily bank on putting black people into films where you actually do not belong. All right? You have had a black person put into Fantastic Four, all right, maybe we can live with that, but Forcing it onto Bond would be an absolutely misfit. All right? The whole point of, point of being a European British spy would be to engage in situations where you would not stand out of the crowd. And being black just goes against that. Like the entire logic is out of the window. It's not about equality here or equality of the races. You don't want to treat it like a political scenario where just because you are of a particular race, you deserve representation. Do not fuck up a classic. If he is white, let him be white. The whole point is we are getting so agitated about not getting racist that we are actually turning racist and using it in the favor of a different race. Racism is not about giving equality to every race. It's about treating everyone as equal as they should be. It may sound convoluted, but it's not. In this case, you are giving a role to a black person because black people need to be equally represented. But do you realize that you're killing an English white classic for doing the same. So how are you different from the people who are using racism against you? Yeah, you're using racism in your favor. I, I strictly don't think Idris Elba should be the next one. I really, really, really hope he's not. I've loved board movies all my life and I would love to love them even more in the coming years. And so I really, really hope that Henry Cavill, who has the exact personality to play an amazing Bond in the coming years, really gets to play the part. You tell me what do you think about this? Who do you think the next Bond should be? All right. And this is still keeping in perspective that Daniel Craig probably has two more Bond movies coming up. One is Spectre, or Scepter, whose trailers or trailers or making of a little footage is still already out. And the other one, which he has supposedly been signed on for. So post that, who do you think should be the next Bond? Do let me know in your comments. Do like, share and subscribe our reviews and quotes so that we get to keep this channel running. This is Pushkaraja Shirke signing out for Film Pickle.